Hi guys. In this video I'm dealing with a little problem that uh, propped up when we moved our boat from the uh, south basin to the north basin in Marina de Portimao. Basically, uh, when I switched on the engine there was no problem, but when I went to switch off, the automatic uh, solenoid for switching off the engine doesn't work. So you've got to go in and turn it off manually on the fuel pump. This is a, normally quite a simple fix, it's just basically the solenoid is uh, jammed up. Uh, it just needs free in and put back on. Unfortunately, it's not a simple fix on here because the engine is kind of cramped into a small space. So I'm not sure how much we're going to be able to capture on camera on this, but I should be able to show you uh, free in the, the solenoid. But anyway, um, I'm waffling on now. I shouldn't. I'll get on with showing you what my problem is. This is how it should work. You switch on, start the engine. And to stop it, press that. It doesn't work, even if you turn off, it just doesn't work. So, the only way to stop it at the moment. So, if you have a problem, you can switch off there. So, or to actually repair this, I have to try and to get into there. This is the part that gives you all the trouble. It's only held on with two little 10 millimeter volts. Uh, there's no point in me video on it because you wouldn't have seen anything. I've only got access from the front or from the top. And as it's down in here, um, there's just no way that you would actually see me turn off. There's only, like I said, it's only two bolts, but they're quite easy to find. 10 millimeter socket, uh, you take it off. Now, as you can see, this part here should plunge out when it's activated and it's solid. So the only thing you have to do with that now is just spray it with WD-40, give it a few minutes, and then try moving it in and out gently and until it eventually frees itself. You, it comes loose quite easily, it's only just two spare connectors into the end of here and then you take the whole thing off. Well guys, it only took me about five minutes, WD-40, just spray it in and keep working, just moving this around until it starts to move. You try just turn it one way or the other until it starts to move and then when you can pull it out and it goes back in on its own because it's spring loaded, then it's almost ready. What you then have to do is keep going until when it's on its side it goes back in because you may find that even though it goes in that way the spring isn't strong enough to pull it in that way so you have to keep going until that's nice and nice and free once it's like that then you can refit it what i like to do before i refit it is connect the cables back on and then press the stop switch a couple of times just to make sure it is working I could hear it working, so that's fine. You want the truth? That's all there is to it. Take peace. Well guys, I hope you found the video interesting. Um, I try to cover most of the things that I do on day to day on, on the boat, on in my life. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell button that'll let you know when i have my next videos up um yeah and if you feel a little bit generous there's always my patreon page oh, you buy the beer okay talk to you later take care bye well guys i hope you enjoyed my video if you did please like subscribe hit that thumbs button let the thumb up like it, like Well, guys, I hope you found the video. Take three.